Hey guys, welcome to The Awakening and today we're on day 45. Day 45 today and yeah, a lot happening, a lot going on and it's part of my job to take you from the dark into the light. I like my hair today. <laughs> I got this one because um, they had sent me something by mistake that I hadn't ordered. And so I got this for free. Hey, eh? cool. Hey, eh? look at it. Stunning. <laughs> I love it. Anyway, you go have a bit of fun, haven't you? You go have a bit of an addiction. I think this is probably mine. <laughs> anyway, the awakening today. What do I want to say? Yeah, as I say, taking you from the dark into the light. Um, I want to talk today about how God, love, never told us to lie down and play dead. Uh, so what do I mean by that? Um, well, as you can see, the world is waking up. And the reason I think the world is waking up, one of the reasons, is people are saying we've had enough. We ain't having it, I do not consent, we ain't having it. Now, one of the reasons I believe the virus was set off is because in, um, in China, people were starting to go on the streets. They were starting to say, I do not consent to living the way I do. I want a better life. And uh, of course, they needed to get them off the streets. And so that's, I think, why essentially the virus was set off to get people off the streets now in your own life yeah this is what i want to talk to you about um is how much do you put up with in life how much should we put up with in life just taking my boots off i've been out today um in the allotment we got our allotments this is the light uh if you want to find out more about that let me know because I need someone to do a program about growing your own vegetables and herbs garden. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just having fun today. Look at it. This is one of my fun things. It's dressing up. I'm an actress, as you know. <laughs> okay. So anyway, coming back to what I was talking about, before I stop messing around and playing around with my hair and my wigs and is how much do we put up with before we say enough is enough? That's it, I'm not taking anymore. How much is enough? Now, everyone is waking up in their own way, in their own time. And it's up to you to think, how much is right for me? Is it time for me to walk away from this situation? Is it time for me to try a different job? Ah, the only problem is it gets into my eyes. Is it time for me to, to end my relationship? Is it time for me to do something that I love? Why am I not doing what I love? You know, this is the thing. This is the awakening. This is your time to follow suit, to watch other people going out and saying, I ain't having it. I do not consent. And that's what you're seeing. You're seeing all of this happen, people revolting. People standing up for themselves, not revolting, <laughs> you, know, you know, you know what I mean. People standing up for themselves, people saying, I ain't having it, I'm not having it, I do not consent. I want my world to be a good world. I want my world to be a kind world. I want my world to be a loving world. I want my world to have no poisons in it. Um, I want my world to be beautiful and non-polluted and without radiation, you have a right to not have the skies covered in all that stuff, to not have wars, to not suffer. It's enough is enough. I do not consent. I am having it. And so the darkness is when it comes up inside you and you accept that you're in the darkness. You're unhappy. You're sad. You, you feel there's something not right. Let's say that is the darkness. Let's say the darkness is the way the system has been up until now, the way the world has, has been, the way, the, to me, lack of equality, people suffering, fighting, all of that. Now, um, 
And so, as I said, you've got to make your own lives. You've got to decide when you've had enough of the darkness and you've got to go out there and change it. And so I did something today. I'm not going to say too much what it was, but I did it because I felt like I ain't having it. I do not consent. And I thought, I'm just going to do it. And I did it. And, and interestingly enough, what I did actually brought in the right results. The person that I did, what I did to, or whatever I, I, I did, <laughs> which I'm not going to tell you about, it was something not very big, but it was standing up and saying, I ain't having it, basically. That person said, oh, okay, I get it. I get it. And they explained the situation to someone and passed it on to me. And, and that's it. It's ended now. But it was like, like my hair, it got to a point of so much red, so much darkness um, today from, with a certain situation that I have to say I am having it. I do not consent, but I had to take an action. Do you understand? Now, some people might see this as ranting. This is not ranting. This is saying to you that nobody told you to lie down and play dead. Um, it's not a rant. It's just saying to you to try and figure out where it gets to the point where you ain't having it and make a list of all the actions you can do. Now, I'm not, I'm not for violence. Even though I'm a, I was brought up as a soldier, I'm against violence totally. However, however, if it gets to a point where we're being put under a system that is destroying us, destroying innocence, and destroying what we believe in, then sometimes you've got to stand up for yourself and you've got to say, I am having it. And it may not be enough to just stand up for yourself. You may have to do something. You may have to take an action and I'm not saying to use violence I'm saying to get the consciousness together and set the actions together for the good of the world for the good of humanity for the good of the collective that's all I'm saying and like people having meetings to say that five thing if they don't stop it in order to do lots of tests then we have a right to do what we have to do to protect our health that's as far as I'm going but this is what I wanted to talk about today, is how far has your life gone to the point where I am having it, I do not consent. If it's got to that level of darkness, then it's time to take action. It could be anything, as I said, um, but you have a right to take action. Okay, that's all I'm saying. So, your life may not change until you take a certain action, whether it's saying what you have to say, let the throat chakra open, communicate, say what you have to say, either say what you have to say or do what you have to do, but don't keep it inside. As I said, we talked about robots, we talked about programming. And if you're keeping inside all the pain and you're not asserting yourself and you're not saying, hang on a second, we need to talk about this. And, and there's other situations in my life where I feel a bit walked all over, where people have been unkind and they have not seen their side in it. And sometimes you have to back off, but we're in the awakening. And so weigh it up, you know, weigh it up. And you decide using your throat chakra, using your common sense. Like to me, the way God would, being neutral, but able to say exactly what it is you want to say. What is it you want to say? How do you want to say it? That's what you've got to figure out. That's what the awakening is. And so I'm inviting you on to think about the things that are not um, serving you anymore. The things that are not serving you, the things that are not giving you peace, the things that need to be talked about. Don't have any elephants in the room. The king is definitely in the all together, so to speak. Now, if people don't like this and they say I'm ranting, I think they need to look at what they're not saying. God, the hair keeps sticking. Sorry, I should pause, but I have not editing. This is me. You know, warts and all, red hair, brown hair, black hair, whatever. 
Um, but what I'm saying is you have to be honest and say what you really want to say. And, and that's what it boils down to, guys. It boils down to being honest. It boils down to being the goddess or the, the, cre the, the divine man or woman that has a God-given right to have a good, happy life and to live in the strength and to be happy and to be able to put out there what the truth is for them and, you know, what your truth is. So I thought I'd say that today in The Awakening because we've been building this up through talking about the robotic programs in you. Everyone has them. And I think the person that did something for me today actually confronted that robot inside them because they felt that something was very, very out of balance. And I wasn't able to sort this out. I wasn't because, well, they, they, this other person didn't give me the opportunity to do it. They didn't want me to do it. So someone else did it for me. Sometimes you've got to hand it over as well. Once you've taken an action, hand it over to your higher power. It's a bit like the 12 steps. So, you know, you get to a point where you say, um, okay, I'm not able to deal with this. I'm going to hand it over to someone who has maybe the common sense to deal with it. The person that might be able to do it for me in an easier way, in, in, in a more um, balanced way. Usually a Libra because they're really good at finding that balance. You know, sometimes it's just you can't do it on your own. That's all I'm saying. Hand it over. The 12 steps come in here very well. So if you look at the 12 steps, you go through the first step, which is coming out of denial, knowing there's something not right. Then you have the second step, which is came to believe a power greater than myself can help restore me to sanity. That's step two. And you find what that is. What is that power? Maybe the power for me is moving on TV. Maybe the power for me is an allotment. Maybe the power for you is your work. Maybe the power for you is uh, your family. Or it could be anything, nature, whatever, your belief in God. God, anything. And then the third step is uh, made, a common, made a decision to hand it over. So you hand it over to a higher power. A power greater than yourself and I had to do that today after I felt like I've come to the end of my tether now I don't know what to do I can't do this anymore and you know I did that before when I couldn't release my dad's estate I was able to hand it over to someone and that was it we ended it and I had to be humble I had to go hand in cap and ask this person that I had no communication with whatsoever who did not express wanting to have communication. They did help me in this situation. So let's have a how to stay sane in a crazy world card. Hope you're having a beautiful day, but as I said, you do not consent. If you feel it's not right, something's not right, you need to open up and say it. And sometimes you get people like me that push you and you'll think, oh, she, you know, I don't like what she's saying or she's having a go, or she's too loud, she's too noisy, oh, she's gone back into being mentally ill again, or she's having a rant. No, this is not mental illness. Mental illness is when you can't come out of it, darlings. It's when you can't sit here, and you can't do a conversation, or a program, or an interview, and be calm, very calm and gentle as you do it. That's mental illness. Mental illness is not when you have um, an outburst or you break down or you cry or you um, have a bit of a rant. And I do not accept that anymore. I do not consent to people saying, oh, you're mad because it's something they're not prepared to look at. So they need to look at whatever it is they think is mad in me. There's a lot of things that I feel you know, um, I've gone around and I've said that Trump is actually good for us. And people said, oh, you're insane, you're mad. Um, he's a terrible person, yada, yada, yada. And I said, well, one day you'll realize that he may not be what you think. And they called me mad. They called me mad when I said that aliens exist. They called me mad when I say there is no COVID. They called me mad when whatever I, you know, anything that's enlightened, I'm called mad. 
Mark Steele is called mad because he's showing you the proof of 5G. Galileo was said that he was mad when he said the world was round, but then they're saying the world is flat and all my cards have fallen on the floor. Just <laughs> I have news for you. Those who call other people mad are actually the ones that are the maddest because they see everything in you. It was like in the therapeutic community. It's a sense of, they can't look at what's in themselves, so they see it in others. There's an aloofness there um, of some kind. So if people say to you, that's wrong with you, that's wrong with you, unless you give them permission to, if they're a teacher or a mentor that you respect and you do respect what they say, and they're doing it because they care about you. But you do get people that can be very manipulative, particularly in relationships, you're the one with the problem you're the one with the issue and you know what most of the time it's both of us both of you you know that that's got um oh God. most of the time most of the time it's both of us the hair just makes it itches this itches <laughs> sorry oh god i know you watch my program the old day she goes again her hair is in her eyes and well, love me or not, you know, if I aggravate you, that's good, because you need to look at what it is that aggravates you. Anyway, let's pull a card. I love you. Walk away. Walk away. If you have to, you walk away. I'm walking away today for some space so I can assess. And that's what we did today. Went to the allotment. Meant to get an allotment. So it can actually create a beautiful herb garden. Walk away. You have a right to walk away from anything you want to walk away from. And that's exactly what we were talking about. When is enough enough? See, the cards are very synchronistic, my darlings. They're very synchronistic. You walk away. When it comes to a point where you can't take any more, how to stay sane in a crazy world. Walk away. If you have to, walk away. Whatever, you know, walk away. How about we do a messenger? I like doing the messengers from heaven because these messages come from our loved ones and a lot of our programming came from our loved ones and they are making amends now i believe they're all making amends to help us to help humanity and so let's have a look what our loved ones messages from our loved ones today for you whoever's watching let's choose one <laughs> i wonder what the synchronicity is going to be okay let us bug you, let us hug you close your eyes and we hold you close let us hug you close your eyes as we hold you close there you go isn't that lovely that's what they want to do they want to give you a big hug they want to ask for forgiveness for all the patterns and all the things that they taught you that are not congruent with your life that did not help you in any way they want forgiveness and they, you know, they're, they're moving on. Uh, this is from our loved ones. This is messengers, messengers, messages from heaven by Jackie Newcomb. They're beautiful. Let us hug you. Close your eyes as we hold you close. That's what I felt I needed today. I really needed a hug today. I don't know about you, but I'm giving you a hug. I love you. Hug yourself, guys don't put up with anything if it gets to a point where you're not happy if it gets to a point that you can't cope anymore take some action but if you have to walk away walk away but don't play dead don't lie there and play dead your life is worth so much your life is worth everything you are worth it you are worth it the same way as they did because i'm worth it <laughs> I love you lots and I hope this teaches something. I hope it's taking you from the dark into the light. Please like, share, subscribe. Um, come on to Moving On TV, do your own program, shine. Get your dream the same way as I am. 
Um, I won't be able to do any interviews Monday or Tuesday because um, there's, it's not going to be the right place. So if you want to do interviews with me, the interviews will be going on hopefully after Wednesday. In the meantime, I'll be putting out all the ones I've done that need editing. <laughs> Take care. Love you lots. Bye.